Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey Chesani was the highest-ranking officer to face a combat-related court-martial since the Vietnam War. He was accused of failing to investigate the killings of two dozen Iraqis in the town of Haditha in November 2005. But now the judge has dismissed the charges after finding a four-star general overseeing the prosecution was improperly influenced by an investigator involved in the case. The judge has barred Chezani's command, Marine Forces Central Command, from future involvement in the case, although prosecutors can refile the charges. They must begin to do so, however, within the next three days. Everyone visualizes me as, as a monster, uh, you know, a baby killer, cold-blooded, um, you know, that sort of thing. And, and it's, you know, that's not accurate and neither is, neither is a story that, that most of them know. to him just like it looks to me. He didn't say that in so many words, but he told me exactly what happened. What he saw happen, a taxi pulled up, they killed him in cold blood. They went into the houses and killed him. He didn't say it was murder, but what is it, Charles? You have talked about, well, that's what the investigations hopefully will prove. Those kinds of statements embolden the enemy. They put our people in danger. They're giving aid and comfort to the enemy. excuse. They were done in a combat environment, in a tactical situation, in order to protect the lives of the remaining Marines who survived the IED that day. And that makes them lawful. And these three one Marines knew of their buddies and colleagues who had tried to do similar takedowns of houses where they tried, in fact, to knock first and shoot later. And the Marines who tried that were dead.
in an insurgency situation, Marines don't get a second chance. They don't get a second chance if they don't if they aren't able to fire first. They die. The, the, the process, they're, out, being, they're being dismissed. Do you like besmirching our troops, sir? Do you like besmirching our troops, sir? You've been in the service. I enlisted in, in, in Korea and I'm sir, in the Vietnam. You, you accuse them of murders and murdering innocent civilians in the cold blood. That's something that would come from Al Jazeera, not a congressman, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My name is Mark Seavey, and I just want to thank you for coming up here. Uh, until about a month ago, I was Sergeant Mark Seavey, infantry squad leader. I returned from Afghanistan. Uh, my question to you. Like yourself, I uh, dropped out of college two years ago to uh, volunteer to go to Afghanistan, and I went and I came back. Uh, if I didn't have a herniated disc now, I would volunteer to go to Iraq in a second with my troops, three of which have already volunteered to go to Iraq. I keep hearing you say how you've talked to the troops and the troops are demoralized, and I really resent that characterization. The morale of the troops that I talk to is phenomenal, which is why my troops are volunteering to go back despite the hard hardships they had to endure in Afghanistan. And Congressman Moran, 200 a year constituents just returned from Afghanistan. We never got a letter from you. We never got a visit from you. You didn't come to our homecoming. The only thing we got from any of our elected officials was one letter from the governor of this state thanking us for our service in Iraq when we were in Afghanistan. That's reprehensible. I don't know who you two are talking to, but the morale of the troops is very high. Thank you. Danny and the rest of America and the world want the assurance from this body that House we will see House this will through. I do solemnly swear to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, foreign and domestic, against all enemies, foreign and domestic.